Hey, Craig here. Uh, this video is starting off a little different because uh, I'm currently uh, mounting a new uh, phone mount. Uh, I got the uh, I had an, an Android phone, and uh, I recently just got the, the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, but uh, as you can see, I'm in the middle of mounting my uh, tripod mount to it, and. Uh, of course, every time you go to use uh, super glue, the super glue is always always dry. So I gotta get some new super glue. Anyway, so I'm just gonna have to do this one by hand, like this. Unfortunately, um, let me uh, turn the camera around here. Okay, this video I'm gonna be finishing the. Uh, this is the second part of my uh, my video on the uh, probe, the passive probe. The, before, when I was doing my uh, Z probe, uh, probing down, uh, it wasn't working right, so I got an email back from Tormach and they just gave me the instructions, uh, service instructions. So what I did was I just took the, uh, the three screws out. There's three screws right here. Should have taken a video of this when I was doing it. There's three screws right here, and... Uh, that basically just comes apart, and I believe there's a picture of it, yeah, right there. So, all it basically did was I just cleaned these, there may have been some oil or something on them, I don't know, uh, when they manufactured. I cleaned these off, and I cleaned these contacts here, and uh, I put it all back together, and uh, the Z probing worked after that. Of course, once you take it apart, you... Actually, when you first get it, you're supposed to do the uh, uh, probe tip adjustment to make sure that the, uh, the actual tip is uh, exactly in the middle of the spindle, this piece, uh, the probe here. So, I've been doing the, the alignment here. Uh, this is how I... F uh, when I started off... I was at about uh, like 15 thou and maybe it's uh, 14 thou or something like that. And so I'm basically working that down. Basically, all you do is uh, they got some instructions on here trying to get these three numbers uh, as, close as, as close as possible to each other. So. Okay, well this is how close I was able to get it. Um, I've, uh, I've got all 1000s here. That one's a little higher. You know, we're just talking like uh, uh, two tenths of a thousand off in between. You know, I could try to get that one down a hair lower. But when you're talking about, uh, you know, one ten thousandths uh, of an inch, uh, when you're turning the sets, when you're turning the screws on this, you're just turning it like uh, uh, maybe a sixteenth of a turn or something. Um, anyways, actually, I was doing this wrong earlier before. <laughs> For some reason, I had my direction mixed up. Anyways, so the 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 letters A, B, and C. Uh, correspond to the cap head screw and you basically choose uh, start with A and you put A where the cap head screw or the screw is right there and that faces uh, towards uh, the mill uh, towards the column in the Y positive direction Oops, let's push that. Anyways, um, so basically, I'll uh, I'll run through it real quick here. So I've got A facing towards the column. All right, we got C and B. That means A is facing the column. Now I'm going to go to A. Okay, I got that, and I'm going to turn 
B towards the column. And A and C there, so B is towards the column. And I'm going to select B. At 14, oh, it went down a hair. And uh, actually uh, pushed on this, so the uh, rotate it to C. Now C is facing the column. Hit C. And we got four. Oh, okay, went up a little bit. Okay, well, uh, B and C are exactly the same now, and uh, A is just off uh, three tenths of a thousand. So uh, I think for what I'm doing, that's definitely more than enough. So you know, I could probably play with that. Every time you adjust one of these screws, uh, you're trying to adjust this. So, say if you're trying, this is the largest value right here. You would then go to A, and you would tighten the A screw right there. Uh, but as soon as you do that, you affect the other ones so you gotta rerun you gotta redo all that you gotta check A B and C and you may have two or three of them moved depending upon how much you uh, turn the screw but what I found out is when you're at this this amount right here you gotta be turning those screws uh, just a real tiny amount so Okay, well, uh, that's set there, so I'll uh, try to run a probing routine here and see, make sure everything is working still. Right. Okay, I'm back on the probe screen. I'm going to start off with doing uh, X and Y. Um, I've got the probe off the corner here, about that far. Make sure I'm low enough. <sighs> Looks like it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hit um, this button right here. All right. Okay. And that sets my uh, X and Y. Now let's try uh, Z. Okay, I'm all ready to uh, probe the uh, the Z here on the fixture plate. I'm going to do that by uh, probe Z right here. Probe Z and set work origin. And that's it. Alright. I thought I'd just uh, wish a happy Thanksgiving to uh, uh, anybody who celebrates Thanksgiving. Um, for those in America, um, not sure if they have Thanksgiving, something similar to Thanksgiving in, uh, in other countries or not. But uh, anyways, for those who do, uh, happy Thanksgiving. And um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, any comments, leave them in the comment section below. And I usually have videos down below uh, for other videos I've done. Alright, that's it.